are stranded on an island in the middle of the ocean. So guys, stay tuned and see how we survive. Welcome back to another Survival Island Let's Play series. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be working on our villager trading area. So in case you don't know, we have a bunch of villagers right here and over here and in here. And we need... Oh, wow. There's actually a lot more than I thought. Holy smokes. Okay. Um... And we want to bring them into these stalls. So we're going to try to mimic these stalls upstairs. And let's see if we can do that. I just want to mimic the stalls. So if we did like this. Is this the same? So if I dig right here. Will this be a piece of wood? It will not. Oh, because of the sandstone. Oh, okay. So this needs to go here. And then this needs to go here. Let's see. Uh... Where does the wood go? Oh, it lines up with it. So it should go here. Like this. Yes. Okay. Now we're rolling. So let me do a little bit of a, a small time lapse. Let's get some of these walls put in, like sandstone walls. And then build it up a little bit. And then let's. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, we got a little bit of work done. Got another story built. I had to make these floors, in case you could see, one. I had to make these floors kind of too thick, um, just based on how the windows were in. So, this is the second story, and I think what we could do is if we use, let's put that there. If we use the same style here, um, this is weird too. We'll go something like this, and then maybe just like something different right there. Um, so let's see if we can stick with the same design. Um, let me take a quick picture, literally a picture on my phone, so I can stick with the same design. Um, but if we can stick with the same design here upstairs, then we should be good. Let's do this thing. So we need a couple slabs. Let's just make all these into slabs. And then we'll do this, this. And let's see if we could do the exact same pattern as we did downstairs. Uh, separate 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 and then we'll do like this 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 um, we need to make sure we put a torch back there just in case something tries to spawn do something crazy and then we'll do uh, slabs across the top here and then slabs there so this looks just like I did downstairs, if I can get a couple trap doors, we'll put these like this. So that way, the villagers can't go anywhere. So we'll put a torch there, torch there. And then what I was thinking is we need to break this wall up. So let's go ahead and take all this. Let's make a bunch more fences. And we need to break this wall up. So um, let's try to do like... A two right here. Uh, can I do... Is that one away? I like to try to make it look kind of symmetrical on the outside, but like... Not really. We got a more sandstone. This needs to go like this. So two away from the outside. Two away from the outside. And then like this. And then we'll go... Uh, yeah, let's just do it like a little two across. Why not like this? We'll skip one and go two across. There we go. And then this one's going to be slightly bigger windows. So we need to go here, there, and I want to go across here. So along this, I think eight villagers should be enough. I think so. Eight should be fine. I'm trying to think if I want any more villagers. Um, I want to make these even. So something like this. And obviously we need to put like a torch there. And then do we make this another, what is that, four? 
I mean, this could work. Let's do that. I like it really open like this for some reason. It makes it feel bigger than it really is, but it feels good. All right, so we have villager stalls here. Villager stalls at the bottom. Down here, yeah, it's dark, so we need to start hanging lights. Let's start putting lights kind of sporadically. I don't really care how symmetrical they are. Um, yeah, and let's go ahead and build a roof and let's put the, uh, let's, I'm trying to figure out, can we do another staircase? We could technically, let's see. You come this way, can we do another staircase on a staircase? So if I did this, would this get us up there? And that way you walk, you walk this way, you can go in this way and see the people. And then you can also go up to the top. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, but yeah, let's get to the let's get to building some of the the ceilings and all that. Um, oh, I almost messed up. That was almost bad. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, I want to get a little bit of a uh, a different approach to the motivation today. I was really, really thinking about this today, and I, I was me and the boys are playing. Um, we were playing, um, what's the game called? I don't know. We were playing a game and we were just sitting there talking about like kind of ch like childhood trauma and yeah, it's going to be really weird to talk about. This is going to, we were talking about like childhood trauma and how like we're affected by some of it and some people use it as a crutch and stuff like that. But what I want y'all to do is I want you to to take that childhood trauma right because everybody has it it's sad right but everybody has childhood trauma everybody has that childhood pain that they're that they're suffering with right but i need you not to use it as a crutch and i need you to use it as a motivational factor because i was telling my brother this is like dude like it sounds bad but like nobody is gonna ask about your childhood trauma when you're like, let's say you're, you're, you're performing poorly at work. No one's going to go, dude, he, you know, his childhood trauma, you know, they're going to say, what is he doing at work? And why is he not performing? And then you're going to have to give an answer. So I need y'all not to, to use the childhood trauma as a crutch, but use it as a motivational factor to push through the day. You know, let's say you have something going on at home. Use those people that that you hated as a child that, that gave you that trauma and don't be like them you know what i'm saying like uh what's the saying it's like some there's a saying that says like um the greatest dads are the ones that didn't have a dad or had a really had a really uh poopy dad and so because you learn like not only do you learn from the good people in your life but you also learn from the bad you learn not what you learn what to not do uh when you're a parent like my dad wasn't the best, right? He, he, he's very like selfish in the things he did. So when we would hang out, he would just do whatever he wanted. Not really what I wanted. He didn't even ask what I wanted. Right. And so I use that and I say, Hey, guess what? Remy and Asher and Coco, what do y'all want to do today? You know, and I make it all about them. So I take that trauma, you know, that trauma of like, wow, I, why didn't my dad want to, you know, Hey, do what I wanted to do. Why do we have to do everything he wanted to do? And we turned it into, we turned it into something beautiful of, I will never treat my kids that way. My kids will forever know they're loved and that they, we, we could do what makes them happy too. It's not all about what makes me happy. Um, because this goes, I mean, it just ties into like that trauma, right? Sometimes that trauma will hold you back and hold you back to the people that sometimes calls you trauma, but at some point, at some point you need to put yourself first and you need to start. It's really simple. Just putting yourself first. Um, because if you're not going to be your biggest fan, if you're not going to put yourself first, then who is, if you're not going to be, if you're not going to value your own time, then no one's going to value your time. Does that make sense? So it's a little bit more of like a, a, uh, a little bit more of a hard, um, 
motivation today, but I need y'all not to lean on that, that trauma as a crutch. And don't let that trauma hold you back. Don't give that trauma the power it it wants to have on you. Don't give that, that person in your past the power over top of you that they, that they want to have over you. Take the power back and grab a hold of your life and live your life and do what you love and make it happen. That's the, that's the talk we're having today, ladies and gentlemen. Be your biggest fan and make this happen. Make it happen. Let's do it. Together, together we will make this happen. I appreciate y'all. I really, truly do. And I know I can see it in all of y'all that y'all are... I see it in all of y'all and I can see how strong all of y'all are. So we just need to show everybody else. Let's go. God, I got myself fired up, baby. Woo! Okay. Sorry. I'm good. You good? I'm good. You good. All right. I'm good. I'm good. I don't like all these torches in here. Uh, maybe those. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Now let's move some freaking villagers. We're gonna show some. <laughs> we're gonna show some resilience right here by moving these freaking villagers. Okay. All right. Let's use the thing Tally gave us. Let's use that thing Tally gave us right here. Let's get some rails and some minecarts, and let's uh. Let's see what we could do with these villagers. This is going to take a lot of resilience, a lot of grit right here to get all I want to move these two, but they scare me. You know, I don't I don't particularly want to move them yet. I want to, you know, just want to They're they're going to be tough to move. Let's see. Um what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh minecarts. I got myself gassed up, boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sometimes people need to hear that. Like y'all just got to use that that negativity and switch it to positivity. You know what I'm saying? Some people just need to hear that. And I, God, I hope y'all got something from that. Ooh, let's fire myself up. All right, I'm good. I'm good, let's see. Uh, iron, 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 iron. Guess what? <laughs> Your boy got an iron farm. Uh -huh. Let's actually go check the rates. We've been, Building. Oh, that looks so cool. I like the difference, like, the different geometric shapes, you know? It doesn't go all the way up. Like, it doesn't go all the way up. This is, this is different. This 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 town is starting to come together. Holy smokes. Okay. And we'll hang some lights from down there, too, to, to make it glow down there. Maybe put some pathways underneath, because I think the pathways will add a lot to it. Um, Let's see. Let's check on our iron farm. What do we think? Oh, my. Okay, I didn't think we would have three and some change. I uh, definitely did not think that. Okay. Um, I think we're good on iron for the rest of the season. Holy smokes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to take some of these bridges and throw them this way. Just because I think it'll look cool right through the middle right there. Yeah, that would be sweet. Alright, let's take some of this. Let's take this track. And we're just gonna whittle it. Let me go as far this way as I can. Here we go. Wait, what just? Ha how did I just do that? I heard a zombie. How is that even a? Oh, he spawned right there. Oh, I was so confused. All right, I'll go right here. And we'll bring these bad boys in here. Like this. Hopefully. I didn't even think to see if I had enough tracks. I definitely do, right? Alright, let's see if this collection system works. Um, oh, I didn't put a... Um, uh, we'll do something like this. Ha-ha! It works. That one... Wait, this is working surprisingly well. Hold up. Yo, Tally. Dude, Dolby's in the chat for Tally. Holy smokes. Okay. All right. Here's what we need to do. We need to break these. I really hope these people don't just fall out. All right. Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Right there. All right. No. Dude! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh, Jesus. Um, Alright, dude. Can we cooperate? Do you mind? Oh, you're too tall to even go in there, aren't you? Alright. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Wow. I love that guy. Bravo. Alright, jump over. Push. Push. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. We'll go like this. Let's put this right here. And that way they fall off that way. I don't know if I can still move this guy. Can I move this guy? All right. All right, I don't even think it matters. Let's just break them out. Plug that hole. I don't think we need to because there's... Wait, the villagers are being really... No, no, I lied to you. They were being really cooperative. Come on, baby. <sighs> no, dude, stop. Focus. Get in there. Ha ha! Oh my god, let's go. Yeah, I don't think I need that there because... Um, jump over. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we'll just use another one to push him, right? Is that gonna work? Oh, that just didn't do anything. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that worked. Okay. Wait. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Here we go. This is a... Uh, this could be... All right, here. Uh, now, I need you to focus. Oh, you know what I could do is take some tracks. If I take tracks and put them here, they won't be able to run that way, right? Because they don't know there's a, there's a way that way. Tally, right? Tally? There we go. Yeah, because if I put tracks there, then they can't pathfind over tracks. Is that something I learned from Tally? I don't know, or is that something I taught myself? Ugh. If I can get four here, I don't know how we're going to get up to the top, but we can do it. Oh, no. No, no, because you could run on the tracks, but, like, go that way. No. Ugh. All right, now. No, no, no. Chill. If we get them. Dude. Dude. Yeah, see, he can only pathfind off of the track. So now he should go that way because of the pathfinding mechanics, right? Right? And I know we're going to have to put lecterns and stuff over here. I got that. We'll probably place them like underneath these, I'm thinking. We'll see. We'll figure out how to put them maybe behind them. We'll see. Dude, will you just go that way? Hello? Excuse me? Okay. All right, come on. Just be, be, no, 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 please. Be the easiest, be the easiest. Be the easiest, focus. Yes. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. I, I know all y'all that are watching right now know how exciting that was to get those villagers in there that easily. I could feel y'all's excitement and I love it. Thank you. All right, now the question is, can we just go up right here? Is this going to be to... Uh... Okay. All right, let's put the tracks here. Just so they don't run that way. We'll dump them right here. And we're going to need some powered rails right here, but that should be fine. Let's go get some powered rails, and we can do this. Okay, hang on. Let me pull up some comments. Hang on, hang on. Let's see if we got any comments. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Feather Fetcher, uh, go subscribe to his channel. He's putting out a lot of lot of good content. I think it's daily, right, Feather? I think it's daily. He said the cats do spawn because of the village. Yes, thank you. Um, we have so many powered rails. How do we have so many powered rails? I think we only need this many. Um, but yeah, I, I was trying to figure out why all these cats are around. It's because we have villages. Village here, village here, village there. I just got turned around. I love these massive buildings. Like this small one's nice. We may put another small one there. But these massive ones are where it's at, dude. I need to light up the outside of that one. Um, let's go to the top. I think this will be easier if we go this way. Like this. This way. Yeah, we need to put one here. Here. 
And I think here. If I'm not mistaken. And then all we have to do is put a block beside it. Torch. Block beside it. Torch. Block beside it. Torch. Yeah, and that should. We're about to test it. Let's see. If we can get those guys all the way up there that easily, then we should be good. Yep. Yep. Right, I'm just having faith that they're all going to go up there. Oh my god, it works. Oh, <laughs> Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Yes. Alright. Alright. Oh, danger. Oh, no. Alright, that's going to be lost. No, I have to get it. I have to get it, so I'm only three blocks. Okay, here we go. We'll take this. Break that. We'll just put that there for now. All right. Break, break, break. All right, pick a stall, man. I don't need you to choose just any one. Just pick one. Wait, there we go. Oh, my man. My man, way to choose one. Good, good choice. You choose one too? You choose one. Do you want the corner one? Hello? Yes! Tally, everybody in the chat, uh, explain to me why this is so easy right now. In old days, I would have had a freaking heart attack trying to do this. Okay. Go in. Oh my god, we're three for three. Alright, do we have any more villagers down there? I, I'm curious to see. Um... Oh my god, we do. All right, last one. All right, Jim Bob, don't mess this up. You're the last one of the, the, the challenge. I did not, I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect y'all to, uh, did not expect to get all these in here today. I'm gonna be completely real with y'all. I did not expect. All right, focus. Just go. Yeah. Oh my god. Go in there. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We did it. I gotta fix the backside. I just realized like this isn't even done. Yeah, we gotta finish these two walls, which I don't have the fences to do. But check this out. We are absolutely killing it. Absolutely killing it. Look how big. Look how big this area is, dude. It looks so good. It looks so freaking good in the middle. Dude, this is exactly what I imagined when we were building this. A village of just pillared houses like this. Oh my god, we have room for one more right here. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for sticking with me through that. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have all of the villagers, all of the villagers in place. We are vibing. That was easy. Uh, remember, change that trauma into something powerful ladies and gentlemen stay beautiful stay smiling peace